Okay, let's face it. We could all use a little more exercise. Getting fit is a big lifestyle change, though, for cancer patients, and it could actually have a huge impact on their treatment and recovery. Researchers from one British cancer charity found millions of cancer patients just aren't getting the physical rehabilitation that they need once the treatment is over. Cancer Center Treatments of America in Philadelphia has integrated rehab into the mix, and Lindsay Nagel joins us now. Thank you so much for yeah. joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we have to recognize that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and they are among the millions of survivors living in the U.S. with the effects of their treatments. So, Lindsay, what kind of problems are some of these cancer survivors left to deal with? Um, some of the things that we see more, most commonly is um, a neuropathy or a numbness and tingling in the hands and the feet that can lead to uh, decreased balance or an increased risk of falls. And then in about 70 to 100 percent of patients, they um, report just an overall feeling of tiredness or fatigue. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess so dealing with all these things that you suggested, the soreness, the stiffness, neuropathy, what really is the importance of exercise? What role does that play? Yeah, so exercise, when you exercise, it releases endorphins and it gives you a boost of energy. So it helps with that fatigue. Um, it's knowing how much and um, what intensity to, to do exercise. Mm -hmm. Now, if a, a cancer patient is already dealing with fatigue, won't exercise just kind of wear them out? I mean, how mm -hmm. do you know the balance, I guess? Yeah, so at um, Cancer Treatment Center of America, we have a program called Motion for Life, and um, it focuses on those principles of exercise and knowing how much. Um, we recommend um, or try to build our patients up so that they can do 20 minutes, mm -hmm. uh, four to six times a week of just a fairly light to somewhat hard mm -hmm. level of exercise. So when you're looking at a cancer patient for the first time, they come into mm -hmm. you for um, evaluation, I guess, how do you know what's right for whom? Yep, so we um, interview them, we ask them questions, ask them their fatigue level, ask them um, if they're having that numbness and tingling, and from there we monitor their vitals, heart rate, blood pressure, things like that, and get them started on an exercise program. Mm -hmm. And that's very, very important for a lot of people. You know, I had a friend who was diagnosed with breast cancer, and that's mm -hmm. what she missed the most, was being able to get that exercise. Yeah, it gives you that boost of energy, and research continues to show that um, exercise during cancer treatment helps fight that cancer, and then exercise after helps um, prevent the reoccurrence mm -hmm. so it really is important but you know you can't just jump into it even exactly. when you don't have cancer you shouldn't just jump to it. so what's the most important thing to know before you start that exercise regimen yeah, so we recommend that if you're um, trying to start some sort of new um, aerobic or any kind of exercise that you speak with your physician and you get cleared um, so that you know that it's safe for you to do mm -hmm. now you mentioned neuropathy that's a big problem for cancer patients going through chemotherapy that tingling that mm -hmm. numbness yeah. What, um, what would you say, how should that be addressed in terms of, you know, coping with it? Yeah, um, as CTCI, we use a machine called a Rebuilder. Mm -hmm. It's a form of electric stim. It's not painful. We put um, pads um, on the hands or on the feet, and it helps, it helps to help with that um, numbness and tingling. In addition, we do balance exercises to decrease that risk for falls. Mm -hmm. And so how does this work? Um, so it's just a simple machine. Um, mm -hmm. Adhesive pads get put on the hands or okay. on the feet, and you turn it on, it runs for half an hour. It's a form of electrical stem. Okay. So tell us where can you go to find out more information about um, oncology rehabilitation. Yeah, great. If um, people would like to know, they can log on to cancercenter.com. Mm -hmm. um, okay, all right. And the phone number is 1-800-333-CTCA, or cancercenter.com. Thank you very much, Lindsay yeah. Nagel, for joining us. Thank and you. Thanks for providing us with that very, very important information. Thanks.